This video will cover the topic, finding the maximum or minimum of a quadratic function. What is a minimum or maximum in a quadratic function? A minimum in a quadratic function is the lowest point that the quadratic function reaches. For a quadratic function to have a minimum, the function's graph has to open upwards, or in other words, have a U shape. An example of a function with a minimum looks like this. A maximum in a quadratic function is the highest point that the quadratic function reaches. For a quadratic function to have a maximum, the function's graph has to face downwards, or in other words, have an upside down U shape. An example of a quadratic function with a maximum looks like this. The vertex of a quadratic function is either the maximum or minimum of the graph. It is important to note that a quadratic function can only have either a maximum or a minimum, not both. Oh, okay, that makes sense. But how would we find out if a quadratic function has a maximum or minimum just by looking at the equation? That's a good question. We can find this out by looking at the function's leading coefficient. If the leading coefficient is positive, then the function will have a U shape, and therefore have a minimum. If the leading coefficient is negative, then the function will have an upside down U shape, and therefore have a maximum. Oh, alright. Once we find out if a quadratic function has either a maximum or a minimum, how do we find out exactly where that point is located? To find out exactly where the maximum or minimum of a quadratic function lies on the graph, it's first important to remember the form that the quadratic equation is in. A quadratic equation takes a form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is the leading coefficient of the function, b is the coefficient in front of x, and c is the y-intercept. Once that is understood, we can use the equation x equals negative b over 2a to find the x component of our function's vertex. Once we find the x component of the vertex, we will be able to plug it into our function to find the y component. Okay, I think I'm starting to get this. Can we try out an example? Definitely. Here, we have a problem that gives us a quadratic function, and it asks us to find out if the function has either a minimum or a maximum value, where the minimum or maximum value occurs, and what the function's minimum or maximum value is. So first, we must figure out whether our function has a minimum or maximum value. Recall that to do so, we have to see if the leading coefficient, or the a value, of our function is positive or negative. Oh, okay. So the leading coefficient for this function, which is in front of x squared, is 2. That's right. And because it's positive, our function will have a minimum point. Exactly. Because this quadratic function has a positive leading coefficient, it will have a u shape, which gives the function a minimum point. Now that we have figured that out, let's figure out where the minimum value occurs. To figure this out, we can use that equation you brought up earlier, right? Yeah, we can use x equals negative b over 2a to figure out the x component of our function's minimum. We must first find what the values for b and a are. Since our leading coefficient is 2, our function's a value will be 2. And since the coefficient in front of x is negative 4, our b value will be negative 4. Substituting this into our equation, we will get this. Since the two negatives in the numerator cancel out, and 2 times 2 equals 4, x will equal 4 over 4. Yes, exactly. So the x value for our minimum will be 1. Now that we have the x value of our minimum, we can find the y value by substituting the x value of the minimum into our quadratic function. Doing so, we will get a function that looks like this. Solving this out, we find that h of 1 is equal to 3. So, our function's minimum value will be 1, 3. That's right. Okay, so just to make sure I'm getting this straight, to find the maximum or minimum of a quadratic function, we must first find out if the function has a minimum or maximum. To do so, we check to see if the leading coefficient of the quadratic function is positive or negative. If it is positive, the function will have a minimum. If it is negative, the function will have a maximum value. Once we have figured that out, we can find the x value for the vertex by using the formula x equals negative b over 2a. 
Once we have found the x value for our minimum or maximum, we can plug that value into our original equation to get the y value for the minimum or maximum. That's right. It sounds like you've mastered this topic.